from the Abu Dhabi pros, I believe. This is like a few years back, like a, a year, I guess, whatever. All right, so let's take a look at this match and try to break it down. So they're doing some stand-up right here. And uh, Adolfo has a sleeve and collar. Boom. All right, let's take a look at that. Uh, let's back up there. So, uh, here we go. One, two, boom. Now, Adolfo doesn't like step his hips really toward him. He drops to his knees on an angle here uh, and then just pulls him down. So he brings uh, Galvon's head over his hips and then he has obviously his left side taken care of. So it's gonna make it difficult for him to resist this. It doesn't seem to be like the traditional judo throw. You guys can name that. I'm not a judo guy. Um, in any event, he throws him here. He's got the sleeve. He's got the collar. He holds. Um, and Galvan hips down. So he steps over. But when he steps over, he's caught in like a, a deep half guard here. So Galvan brings the uh, legs in to tie up. Adolfo's leg, he starts to swing, he's got a grip, this is, you know, normal deep half guard stuff. Um, Adolfo posts with that left hand for some balance, Galvan has his other arm there. Okay, Ooh, Galvan's about to come up, and then Adolfo posts with that left hand. Galvon is really deep there. He's holding the leg, so uh, Adolfo can't get that right leg out. Adolfo is pinned down that knee. Galvon is trying to like come underneath here. He can't get it, so he just stays to the leg. Adolfo grabs the hips and he grabs the knee. Pinning that down. It makes it difficult for uh, Galvon to step up or swing if he's got that, that knee controlled. Now he tries to come under, but Galvan's got the arm tight. Notice Galvan has his head up high so that uh, it makes it difficult for Hadolfo to step over the head. Um, and he has his left hand underneath the leg, which makes it difficult for Hadolfo to come in for an arm lock. And he's got his right hand around the hip right here. So he's grabbing the kimono with the right hand. Uh, And then he has the hip with the left hand. And then he goes to, um, he grabs the kimono there. So he doesn't have his arms. Uh, and the direction that Galvan's gonna go is, if you see my arrow here, he's gonna go straight back this direction, um, which is gonna make it difficult for Adolfo to defend. And notice what he's gonna do with his legs. He's going to use them as a pendulum and make them wide. So, it's, so even though he doesn't have the arms trapped, like, most people like to do for the deep half guard sweeps. Uh, he's still going to be able to, to, to get this sweep because of the momentum there um, and the propel propelling the pendulum of the legs. So let's see. So here he pendulums the legs. He stays under. Now he's going to hip heist. He's going to bring his right leg underneath to bring his hips toward the mat. Boom. And now he gets the sweep for that. So now he's on top going forward. Adolfo is very relaxed. He's got a grip. He's got the foot there. He creates space, opens uh, Galvon up. And then uh, let's, let's take a look at that. So he's got the grip with the right hand. He's got the sleeve with the, the left hand. And then he, as he goes to the collar, that's Galvon's time to uh, pass the leg. So he goes to pass the leg. Adolfo pushes with the left hand on the shoulder, it looks like. This is all like stuff, you know, that you got to look at that may not be taught readily. So here, pushes with the left hand, and then he comes back with the right leg. And then his left hand pushes on the knee right there. Uh, and now it's uh, difficult. So notice what Galvon's doing. He's driving in with his head down. Because he has his head down here, let's see here. 
And then when he comes up, look, as he comes up, now it's Hadolfo's time to, to start to move his legs. So he starts to scoot his legs. Because when, when Galvan is down really hard with his head, uh, low with his head, it's difficult for Hadolfo to back up. So now as he comes up, now Hadolfo starts to back up as Galvan's head is up there. So sometimes, you know, people may want to stay very tight uh, with the upper body there but, and watch before they change. This is a cool little sweep here sequence. Um, and, and again, it all, it all depends. We're just watching what's, what's actually happening here. Uh, let's go back here. Sorry about that. Hey, so here we go. So now, there you go. As Galvon sits up, now he creates this space. Comes in for like a spider style guard. He hooks with that left leg and he's got it right there. So now he tries to sweep him back. So Galvan bases out to the right. And then he comes back. Hadolfo's working for the grip. Grabs the pant. And now he's going to... He turns. He brings his right leg back. So now he can come up and drive. Drives, lifts. And he ends up on top. Hadolfo comes in, works, works uh, the passing game. Brings the... Drives the right leg inside. He's got the collar there. Boom, Galvan tries to sweep him, but he's got his left hand free, so he posts. And then he's just going to hip heist with the left leg. He's going to kick back out, just like so. So, Adolfo, look at what he does. He's grabbing the bottom of the pant leg. He's not grabbing the knee, bottom of the pant leg. When you grab that distal point right there, it, it, it's going to be very strong for the top person and much weaker for the bottom person. So he's grabbing. Alvon is trying to lift, but he's using like an active pose. He sits, comes all the way back out, holds the knee, and then he just comes all the way up. He drives with his knee forward. Alvon has a left hand, um, and he's in the collar, and he's got the sleeve. But he doesn't have Hadolfo's leg controlled, but for his feet right there controlling. But he's not controlling with, with his hand. Um, but either way, it's pretty strong, you know, on Gavon's part. Adolfo lowers, puts the right hand near the hip, um, and beats the grip. Good base, left leg out wide. Now it looks like, you know, when his feet aren't locked in, when, when Hadolfo's right foot isn't locked in, you know what he's going to do. He's going to go for his X-Pass. Boom. Just like so. Notice what he does. He drops his shoulder down on Galvon. He's on his toes, and then he runs around. Okay. So he tries to get there, but Galvon still has his, um, his, his sleep. Now, something that Hadolfo may... Do some people do is they will come in with the knee on the wrist to beat that sleeve, um, you know. But if not, whatever. Switches all the way to the other side, but Galvan's left leg catches him, and then he puts him back into the guard. So that's good recovery on Galvan. Adolfo comes to the other side now and just lowers. So it's really good on Adolfo's part that he has uh, the capability to pass both sides, and now he's trying to like. Uh, Lower with his right knee tight to the body, or tight to the knee. He drops his head. So Galvon has that left hand in the collar, and Adolfo just kind of rolls with it to the side there. And now he comes back up. This part actually within the video got kind of, um, got kind of like they cut it. So I don't, you don't really get to see that setup with the omoplata there. In any case, he comes around again because what? Why? Because, let's see that again. So here, you get rid of the own plata. Let's watch this. So he comes back, and now Galvan just has his leg tied up with his feet, but it's not, they're not crossed, there's nothing holding him there. He's got the hand in the collar and the hand in the sleeve. So you know what's gonna happen with Adolfo when his when his leg isn't controlled, that's when he runs around you. Boom. Here he goes again. He's a little bit high here. Um but it works out for him. Here he tries to lower, but Galvan's left knee starts to come in. Uh, uh, ref doesn't signal anything for this. I, I, I'm not sure if he does. I'm not sure how he does or what he does. Um, but he gives some time there. Galvan comes back inside. 
Um, I mean, there's just, you know, it's taking such a, a lot of energy to hold Hadolfo, you know, when you're on the bottom. So that's pretty much the breakdown and all I want to talk about within this